All right, guys, so let's talk about closing costs. What are closing costs? We don't really talk about closing costs until we are under contract. Be like, so how much money do you have to bring to closing costs? Mm. Okay, so there's a lot of things you guys should know about closing costs. Who plays the closing costs? That's a great question. Do you? Are there certain programs that play for closing costs? Hmm. So before you buy a home, it's important to plan ahead. Definitely, we actually need to talk about that before we go on a contract. Because if not, how are you gonna find out who's gonna pay for the closing costs? So while most buyers consider how much they need to save for a down payment, many are surprised by the closing costs they are to have to pay. Be like, hey, how much do you really need to pay for closing costs? Do you have the money for closing costs? Hmm. So to ensure you aren't caught off guard, when it's time to close on your home, you need to understand what closing costs are and how much you should budget for, guess what? Closing costs, right? So what are closing costs? So people, people are sometimes surprised by closing costs because they don't know what they are. Is it? Yes, many people don't know what closing costs are. They know what a down payment is, but that's different from closing costs. So there's two actually type of payments there. <sighs> okay, so people sometimes are surprised by closing costs because they don't know what they are. According to Bankrate, closing costs are the fees and expenses you must pay before becoming the legal owner of a house, condo, or townhome. Closing costs vary depending on the purchase price of the home and how it's being financed. In other words, your closing costs are a collection fees of payments that are involved with your transaction. And what is that? According to Freddie Mac, while they can vary by location and situation, closing costs typically include government recording fees, yes, like title, appraisal fees, uh, credit report fees, lender origination fees, check that out, title services, tax services fees, survey, survey fees, attorney fees, underwriting fees. Did you know all that? That's what closing costs are for. So that's usually what it typically covers. So how much will you need to budget for closing costs? Understanding what closing costs include is important, but knowing what you'll need to budget to cover them is crucial too. So according to Freddie Mac, you know, an article mentioned above, the cost to close are typically between 2% and 5%. The total purchase price of your home. Yes between two and 5%, and that's gonna depend where you're at, the, the location, town, um, city, county, state, location, and so forth. Depending on, it's gonna come down to on those title, on those fees. So, and the total purchase price of your home. So keep in mind, so it could be between two and a half percent and 5% of the total purchase price of your home. So with that in mind, so with that in mind, basically, here's how you can get an idea of what you'll need to cover your closing costs. So let's say you find a home you want to purchase, right? And the medium price is of $366,900, right? Based on the 2 to 5% Freddie Mac estimate, your closing fees could be regularly between $7,500 and $18,500. $18, yes. So keep in mind, if you're in the market for a home or above or below this price range, your closing costs will be higher or lower. So I can't remember. I think my closing cost last year. Let's not talk about my closing cost last year because I brought a lot to the table and it was like around down payment, closing cost, everything. I think it was like 25000 But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about this whole thing here. Uh, what's the best way to make sure you're prepared at closing? At closing time, make sure you don't buy that car. Okay, so Freddie Mac provides great advice for home buyers saying, as you start your home buying journey, take the time to get a sense of all costs involved. So from the, your down payment to closing costs, work with a team of trusted real estate professionals to understand exactly how much you'll need to budget for closing costs. An agent can help you connect with a lender and together your team, your expert team can answer all the questions you might have. So it's really important to have that connection with that lender, especially with that agent and having that relationship. And that, that being said, 
being able to communicate any questions and doubts that you have. So let me know if you guys have any questions on this and keep in mind some of the things that you want to know that closing costs includes are usually typically included are government recording costs, appraisal fees, credit report fees, lender origination fees, title services, tax services fees, survey fees, attorney fees, underwriting fees, and guess what? Sometimes if you want to buy, purchase title insurance, it also is under there. So let me know if you have any questions. This is Cindy Press Grace with Cindy's Realty Group. But EXP, have a beautiful day, people. Talk to you soon. Bye.